This weekend is Super Bowl 54. It's basically a J-Lo concert with concussions. <laughs> and other than the game and the commercials, one of the biggest aspects of the Super Bowl has always been gambling. In fact, this Sunday's game will shatter the record for the most bets on a Super Bowl in history. But why? Well, let's find out in another installment of If You Don't Know, Now You Know. <laughs> The Super Bowl has always been the biggest day of the year for sports betting, the same way St. Patrick's Day has always been the biggest day of the year for street vomiting. <laughs> this year, an estimated 26 million Americans will wager $6.8 billion. And one of the reasons it's such a big day for betting is because you can bet on anything. If it happens at the Super Bowl, you can probably bet on it. The coin toss, the length of the national anthem, even the color of Gatorade is dumped on the winning coach. Will any player be arrested in Miami after the game? Other prop bets? How many times President Trump tweets during the game? Will Shakira and J-Lo twerk during the halftime show? Jennifer Lopez. Whether or not she's gonna show butt cleavage. Yes. For Super Bowl 54, you can even bet on J-Lo's butt cleavage. <laughs> And let's be clear, there's definitely gonna be butt cleavage, but it's probably gonna happen during a tackle. But it is true. <laughs> you can bet on anything that has anything to do with the Super Bowl, even the length of the national anthem, which is great news for Demi Lovato, because she's singing. So she can bet money on the length of the anthem and then just be like, and the home of the brave. <laughs> Brave, 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 brave. <laughs> so, the Super Bowl is always a big betting day. But this year, thanks to some new laws, it'll be even easier to lose your life savings. In 2020, sin is in. Sports betting is now authorized in 20 states plus Washington, D.C. Since the Supreme Court cleared the way for sports betting in the states other than in Nevada, a growing number of states have legalized sports gambling. Sports betting revenue expected to go from $2.5 billion this year to nearly $19 billion in 2023. Wow, I see that. The case came from New Jersey, a state that fought for years to legalize sports bets. And New Jersey is already poised to overtake Nevada as the biggest state for sports betting in the U.S. Yeah, thanks to New Jersey, gambling on sports can now be legal in any state. And now that it's legal, sports betting is basically New Jersey's new pastime, which means we need to bid farewell to Jersey's old pastime, eating loose salami on a disgusting beach. <laughs> now, what's interesting is, although Jersey may become bigger than Vegas for sports gambling, unlike Vegas, not many people are planning to spend the weekend. To place bets, some sports fans are making super quick trips to New Jersey. Sometimes New Yorkers visit there for only just a matter of minutes before they go back home. Look what happens in New York. You open the betting app and you try and the app knows you are not in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. We are unable to place your wagers. It's just a five minute ride just to come back on the train and go back over. Bets are made in New Jersey parking lots, service stations and train platforms. Others take path trains, finding this to be the fastest way to bet and bolt. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm sorry, this, this is hilarious. So New Yorkers are going to New Jersey to place a bet, but they wanna get out as soon as they're done. <laughs> it's almost like they're worried that if they stay for too long, they're gonna turn into Jersey, you know? It's like, come on guys, place the bets. We gotta get out of here before we turn it to, oh, God damn it, it's already happening. <laughs> oh, it's happening, you wanna hit the gym? So basically what's happening now is Jersey is the new Vegas, except their motto is, whatever happens in Jersey, don't stay in Jersey. <laughs> now, what's interesting about the world of sports betting is that before it was legal, TV networks and sports leagues, they thought that betting was the most disgusting thing that could happen to sports. But now that they've learned how much money they can make off of it, they're all in. The NCAA and professional sports leagues had long opposed sports betting, saying it could hurt the integrity of the game. But as soon as the Supreme Court freed states to legalize sports betting last May, the pro leagues immediately reversed course. Within months of the ruling, the NBA, Major League Baseball, and the National Hockey League all made deals with MGM, and the NFL partnered up with Caesars Palace. NBA and NHL team owner Ted Leonsis says his Capital One Arena will soon have its own sports book. Someone comes to you in your seat and is asking, do you want a soda? Do you want a hot dog? 
my belief is that people will be coming to your seat and saying, do you want to bet on the next period, the next half? That's right. The leagues have embraced betting so much that someday soon you'll have ushers coming up to me while you're watching a game. They'll come up to you and ask you to place a bet. That's big. Because before that, the only kind of gambling they offered at a game was whether the hot dogs would give you diarrhea. <laughs> but it is easy. It is easy to see how betting at the games could make things a little awkward for some of the fans, you know? Because you'd just be there like, woo! Go next! 500 on the Celtics, please. <laughs> so now, <laughs> you don't want to lose your money. Come on, people. You can support a team and keep your money. So now, thanks to the Supreme Court and New Jersey lobbying efforts, sports betting is poised to become bigger and bigger. States are embracing it. Leagues are embracing it. It's spreading everywhere. And nobody knows where it could go in the future. You know, maybe someday, movies like Uncut Gems will start to look something like this. How you doing, Howard? Hey, looking good, Howard. What I told your mom last night. <laughs> I made a crazy risk, a gamble, but it's about to pay off. I want to put 40 G's on a six-way parlay on today's game. We're just playing horse, mister. Why would you bet on that? This is me. This is how I win. What crazy thing did you bet on now, Howard? This kid is automatic from there. He never misses. He never misses. Where's my money, Howard? Let me go double or nothing on a big hopscotch game tomorrow. You know I'm good for it. All right, but here's a little taste of what's gonna happen if you lose. Oh, oh, man. Oh, you man. Oh. Hopscotch? You bet on hopscotch? What the hell is wrong with you, Howard? Don't touch the line! Don't touch the line! Don't touch the line! How hard is it to jump into a goddamn box? Where's my money, Howard? Give me my money, Howard. It's my money. Pay what you owe. You've got a gambling problem, Howard. 50 bucks says I don't. 